Hi everyone and welcome to part one of my first ever Sims 4 LP. So I just got Sims 4 um, on Friday for my birthday and I already started an LP but then I was like I don't really think this is the kind of story I want to go for so I'm going to try a different story with a bit more opportunity for different things to happen so that's going to be interesting so let's start uh, this is the main menu and you can see some footage of the game there's just some stuff so we'll get right into it and create a new household I'd like you to meet the McNulty sisters. So we've got, um, sorry, Danny is the one in the red tank top, and Celine is the one in the blue and yellow dress. So um, my idea for creating this sim is like, I don't know, I was just kind of like, I think it'd be cool to have like a pair of siblings where one is really good and well, like one's good, the other one's bad. Like not in a like, they still love each other. They're not enemies. They they do care about each other. But it's kind of more of like, it's going to make an interesting story, you know? Okay, so let's just get started. Save and play. Alright, are we saving and playing? Is this going to work? Sorry if you hear rustling in the background, but you probably do. I'm just trying to find my phone so I can set a timer on it. No, I'll do it later. <laughs> I'm such a procrastinator. So there are two towns that we can live in. There's this cute little, like, uh, it's kind of like a river view or Sunset Valley or whatever, except it's so much smaller. Like, that's the main thing about this game is there aren't that many lots, and they're a lot smaller. <laughs> and then you've got, okay, so they actually do have names, sorry. This is Willow Creek over there. And, so, sorry. <laughs> um, this is Willow Creek, and... This is Oasis Springs. So Oasis Springs is less of an oasis, I guess, and more of just like a desert. Um, and I think we're going to play here. I didn't actually realize until like a few hours ago that they actually did have two neighborhoods you could play in. I thought it was just one. Uh, needless to say, I'm a bit of an idiot. <laughs> so I think we're going to go ahead and this one is it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I think we're going to buy this one. Uh, which is the cheapest? 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 
Come on, could you load? Whatever, we're gonna get this one, doesn't matter. And it's got one bedroom and one bathroom, so we're gonna get to do a bit of renovation. Lucky us. Um, yeah. I'm probably not gonna skip through every loading screen, because unless it takes a really long time, like a, lo a colossally long time. Because I'm too lazy to edit, you know me, I'm so... Oh my god, I'm so lazy. <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe I will skip this one. Nope, never mind. Um, Alright, so let's take a look at the house. And first of all, I wanted to just say, I love Sims 4. I love the graphics. I love a lot of things to do with it. There are some things that I'm like, toddlers and swimming pools and like, why? Because those just seem like things that everyone needs. Especially when you live in like a desert town, right? You, you're going to want a swimming pool, like seriously. Okay, so let's take a look at our beautiful new house. Um, and I'll just explain the backstory of the Sims. So these two sisters have um, have been living with their parents, and now, and of course, Danny was always the rebellious one, and and uh, her younger sister Celine was kind of just a bit of more of a like tame, I guess is the word I was trying to find. Just you know, like she didn't mess uh, mess around, and she was just kind of a good girl, you know. Um, not implying that uh, Celine is, or sorry, Danny. I'm gonna get confused a lot now. Um, is specifically like a bad person, except that she is. Well, like, yeah, I don't know. So now they're off in this big world, and uh, they're hanging out. To, like, they're spending. They're gonna buy a house together, and they're gonna live together because they do support each other, and they really do care about each other. So uh, this is our house. We've got. Ooh, it's kind of awkward that there's no door to the bedroom. I mean, seriously. Uh, we've got a nice little bedroom without a door. <laughs> Actually, I don't know, the house looks kind of bland. Cute little bathroom. That's about the size of bathroom I always do. It's so weird when a house has like a 12 square bathroom. I'm like, but why? We've got this cute little living room and a kitchen. And oh, behind this little screen that like totally fooled me. I didn't think there was anything behind it at all. Is a nice little dining room, sort of, I guess, more like a kitchen table. Oh, what do we have in the backyard? Eh, no, forward. Um, in the backyard there's a pond where we can fish. That's pretty cool. None of a, neither of the girls would want to fish. Like, they don't have that as their lifetime wish or whatever. But, you know, fishing, it's fun. It's something to do, especially when it's so hot. Like, why can't they just swim in the ponds? Whatever. The point is, there's a fishing place in the backyard, so that's cool. Alright, so, let's get this party started. I'm going to do a really quick um, montage of me editing the house to make it look beautiful. Not that it doesn't already, but, you know, it doesn't. Uh, so, I'll be right back.
Okay, so the house is finished, and hopefully you were watching that little montage, or whatever they're called, that I had there. Um, maybe it's not a montage, because there was no music, but... Oh well, um, whatever. So, the rooms we have set up were... I just changed the living room up a bit. There's this cool technique where you can just, like, change the scaling on the TV. It's not a cheat, but you can get a giant TV for the price of a small one, so what's the problem? Uh, I didn't do anything to the kitchen, but that's okay. I, oh, I left the trash can in the middle of everything. Oh, whatever. I'll just fix that right now. <laughs> Silly me. Um, just put that there. Da -da -da -da. And so this room over here, that was this, uh, this green and blue room is little Celine's. <laughs> Celine's, I forgot her name. And this one over here is Danny's. So I just kind of, yeah, I kind of went like a, a room that matched their personality and was nice. Um, I'm not the best architect, and it's really difficult without the creative style options, but, um, yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I think to start the game, let's just see what kind of relationship they have. Like, they're, okay, they're pretty good friends. Um, yep, yep, they're friends and they're sisters, so that's cool. Um, I think to start the game off, maybe we'll just go meet our neighbors. Um, so right now our neighborhood looks like this, and I do remember seeing, yep, there's people in this household. So I think these two are going to go visit this residence. Maybe there's some interesting, nice people there. Okay, so we're going to be hit with another loading screen. I'll just skip till the end of this one. So here we are, and this lot is called the Slip... Sh uh, never mind. It, w it went away before I could read it aloud. Um, so I think we're going to go knock on the door. Oh, come on. I wanted her to... I wanted her to come visit this lot, too. Okay, um... I meant for them both to go, but I guess if they can't, um, oh, maybe I just skipped over the interaction for both of them going to the lot. I don't want to sit through another, like, ten second loading screen because I am lazy, so <laughs> we'll just have Celine do it. I'm sure, uh, Danny can entertain herself at home. Oh, hi, who's this? Uh, Zest Johnny. Oh, yeah, I've seen him around town in my other games. Um, let's give him a friendly introduction. So, <laughs> he kind of has this, like, oh, I don't want to talk to this good-looking girl just coming into my house. I don't want to talk to her. I just want to watch my TV. All right, so, um, oh, he's kind of cute, I guess. Uh, I just instantly want my mind jumps to. Should my sim marry this sim and be happy forever? Um, <laughs> she could joke about nacho cheese. I think she's going to do that. I'm sure that's the kind of thing people talk about when they have friends, right? I wouldn't know what I... Uh, we can kind of see stuff going on in the background. Um, if you look over here, uh, you can see people walking by. I think that was Mortimer Goth that just went by. Um, so we can be romantic, but she's not really like that. I think we can ask if he's single, though. That's allowed, right? And it, it's kind of more of like a, oh, who else lives here? But it looks like, oh, oh it might just be him. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm such a horrible person. I'm always just like, oh, make Sims, make them get married. Oh, that's that's your life. You don't get to have any free time. Go away. <laughs> Her face there was just perfect. Like, oh, yeah. All right. Um. So I think we're going to, you know, maybe we'll ask ask to hang out with him. Um. Invite him to a place. A place. A place. A place. Or I do kind of like this because. Like, I should be worrying about what Danny's doing, but I don't really care, so I can kind of just, you know, play the game and not worry about it. I'm so repetitive. Okay, so there are very few places we can actually go in town. There's about, you can go to this neighborhood, where you can go to the Rattlesnake Juice Bar, the Burners and Builders Gym, the Solar Flare Lounge, or the Futures Past Museum. Those all sound interesting, but I think, you know, just for a casual, friendly hangout, they're going to go and visit the park. Um, so here we are at the Desert Bloom Park. Where did he go? Oh, these camera controls are so stupid. Like, why can't we have a... I just love rotating my screen. Deal with it. <laughs> the, the game needs to have it so you can rotate your screen like you have... Um, Sorry, uh, my brain is just on the fritz right now. <laughs> uh, so you can have a rotating screen down by your like by your emotion panel or whatever. Um, where did he go? There he is, like a million miles away from us. Don't want to be seen in public with us? Fine, okay, Zest. Who names their child Zest, anyway? <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so maybe we'll we'll go over and we'll tell him a funny story. I'm don't. She's not really a humorous sim, but she's creative. Maybe she's got some good jokes up her sleeve. Or okay, I thought there was just a speech. Um, a thought bubble floating in midair, and I was like, oh come on, we're having glitches already. Now oh, what's her name? Olivia Spencer Kim Lewis. That is a long last name. Okay, so... And I have a hyphenated last name. Like, it's a thing that happens, but still. Awesome! Okay, I was just gonna, like, zoom out and we could look at the park, but... They have a freaking spaceship! Oh man, I wish I was a kid in this game so I could play on the spaceship. They have, the, they have sort of the same thing for, um... In the other town, I guess, they have, like, a pirate ship. But here's a spaceship. That's just freaking awesome. I want to play on that. Um, the rest of the park is pretty much standard. They've got a little pond where you can... Like a pond in the middle of everything. Where you can look for frogs and go fishing. Some chess tables so you can learn how to be smart or something like that. And I don't know. Never played chess before. Well, actually, I have. And I was really bad at it. So if you want to know whether I would be a chess player, I would not be. Oh, they've got a nice little bar. That's kind of cute. No mixologist, but, you know, you can always just make your own drinks and a little sitting, a little sitting area. My tongue is not working today. Mm. Sounds a bit weird. <laughs> and then there's just a bit of a uh, area you can explore in the back. There's a little bathroom there. Um, just some picnic tables. That come. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, all right. So that's fun. Um, I wish they had kids, or were kids, or, yeah, jumping to that already. Hi, Zess, nice to, nice to meet you. Do you want to have kids so they can play on this spaceship together? Um, so maybe we'll just get started with, uh, just going and sitting somewhere and chatting with him. Um, we'll go sit together at this picnic table. I do really like the, um, what is it, what it's called, uh, multi-action, um, my brain just doesn't work when I'm doing LPs. I'll be like, oh yeah, in public or with other people, I can just talk normally. But now it's like, no words. What do I say? Oh my god. I just say um a lot. You've probably noticed that if you've watched my LPs at all. And I just wanted to say, I am going to try and take this LP a little bit more seriously. I know I'm like the worst person for uh, for doing LPs. I, I Honestly, like I would quit, but I also really enjoy it. So, yeah. Um... So they're probably just gonna chat a bit, like uh, mischief, funny. Um, let's let's tell an outrageous story. I'm sure she has a lot of fun stories living with Danny, right? Um, so good lesson. So this is a lesson about being good, not like a you should be more good. This is a lesson about it. <laughs> oh, it went away. Wait, I can just look on my notification wall. I know this now. So Celine is good. Good sims are happy when others around them are happy. And they seek to improve the world. That's kind of cute. Oh, this person in the back looks sad. That's, that's unfortunate. I, I'm upset that they are sad. Um, <laughs> so they seem to be hitting it off. They're making friends. So they don't necessarily need to be romantic, right? You can always just have friends. And it's good that they're neighbors, right? Be friends. Be neighbors. Why don't we discuss some world peace with him? We can find out if he's evil or something. We give him a heartfelt compliment. Uh, brighten his day. I like the sunglasses there. That's definitely necessary. Um, friendly... Maybe we could uh, share our creative ideas with him. That's always a good thing to do. Joke about some more nacho cheese because all... I was going to say we all know that nacho cheese is hilarious, but I always mess up when I'm trying to say things, so just ignore me. You know what? Just turn the video off and go somewhere else. <laughs> or just stay and laugh at my horrible failure at life. <laughs> Yay! Alright, so we've got a little thing about being creative. It's probably just some art thing with jigger stuff like that. Um, wonder what Danny's doing. I can... Oh, I can bring her here. I'm gonna do that. Didn't know that. <laughs> oh, that didn't even require a loading screen. Great. Uh, where are you going? Dude, dude, seriously, we're on a date. Or not a date. We're hanging out, so, like, don't leave. Um... Seriously, where are you going? Where are you going? You're not heading to a washroom. The washrooms are in the other direction. Um, 
Well, she's probably not going to have a drink. I was like, oh, we could have a drink together. But no, because there's no mixologist to make us stuff. So we'd probably just screw up horribly. Um, why don't we give him a hug? That sounds like fun. If he rejects it, then we just know he's a horrible person. Who wouldn't hug Celine? Like, right now, she's just the most adorable thing on the planet. Where are you going? That's a bookshelf. Not your new friend. Danny. Oh, Danny was going to go over here and yell at and yell at Celine. Wow, Danny. That's, like, maybe she's just being protective. Like, oh, I can't believe you would go and have a boyfriend without me. Speaking of boyfriends, hi, who's this? <laughs> Uh, maybe we'll go over there and give him a friendly introduction. <laughs> it's probably the parent of these two little children peasants over here, but, you know, why not? We can just say hi to him. I mean, she's the kind of person who probably, like, break up romantically. Why am I always like, oh, all my students... Just give me a moment. What's up with that? Okay, so, uh, we've only got about a minute left in the part. I always say that, right? Give you fair warning that you're about to have to find a new video that's, like, less awesome than this to watch. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> you know I'm kidding, right? Um, so Danny's over here saying hi to this d person. Um, I kind of want to play Space Monster, but um, she's kind of not a really nice person, and she doesn't really like kids, so she probably wouldn't be playing Space Monster. <laughs> the, oh, I guess he's a teenager. She can't be romantic with him. Oh, that sucks. Um, probably not going to talk to him anymore. <laughs> So judgmental. Who's this over here? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, we could say hi to him. Mm, why not? She might as well get to know everyone. She's also got this wish to become flirty, so... Oh, that was just my watch saying it's 7 o'clock. And this person over here is Mortimer Goth. And I've thought ever since there was, like, um... Some sort of... Someone did a video, like, one of the official Sims people did a video about making Mortimer Goth. Doesn't he look like Howard Stark? Like, maybe I just live in the superhero universe, but he kind of looks like that, right? I mean, I think Howard Stark has brown hair or something like that, but... Whoa, why is she angry? Oh. <laughs> she has a mood that says, Ugh, children from nearby child. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, he's, like, bald and stuff. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. She? She judges people. She would judge him for being bald. Alright, so uh, I think it's just about time to wrap this part up. Thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, please like my video and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more of what Danny and Celine are going to be doing in the next few weeks or days or whatever, whenever I get around to making the next part. But I'll try to do one about every week. Um, thanks again for watching and see you later. Oh, also, don't forget to comment below if you want them to do anything in particular, like maybe things you've been wondering about in The Sims 4 or like interactions you want to see, just tell me and uh, I'll do my best to make them do it. Bye!